hi welcome back to the video series so in this example or this video rather we are going to be looking at maximum and minimum term this is usually a quick question when you are dealing with number patterns uh, it usually pops up in either question one i mean question two or question three of your paper one formats so i'm just gonna look at how many examples it's about a b c and d that's just four examples and then we are done so one thing i need you to understand is that these kind of questions they are only applicable to quadratic uh, sequences or series or number patterns only applicable to quadratic so with the quadratic um you remember quadratic basically just means parabolic because if you remember the equation of a parabola it's y equals to um ax squared plus bx plus c so with quadratic the, the general equation that we are saying is tn equals to an squared plus bn plus c you look at the two equations this one and that one you realize that these equations they are basically the same the other one is just using y in the place of tn okay so what you need to note is that with the parabola if it's facing up like this that means the a is positive that's when it's facing up and then in that case that turning point that you have at the bottom there that is actually your 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 minimum point minimum point so if it happens that a is negative on the equation the the graph will look like this it will face down because a is negative and then you're going to have um what you call rather a maximum turning point maximum point which is the turning point how you get uh, the the turning point is that you remember from functions from grade 10 or grade 11 is that you use the equation minus b over 2a that's how you 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 get your your turning point so for quadratic sequences or patterns we're going to use the same uh, equation however instead of n we are using b minus n I mean n equals to minus b over 2a that's how you get the position of the turning point it could either be maximum or minimum depending on whether or not the a is positive or negative rather depending on on the on, on just the sign of the of the a so you'll you'll, you'll be given the, the example and then you just need to remember that so let's do the first example uh that's our a let me use rather a instead of one uh, a that gives us our first example suppose you are given this tn equals to n squared minus 10 n minus 30 um the questions are as follows so we're just going to answer them in the odd which term is the minimum Which term is the minimum term? Secondly, uh, they're asking you to determine determine the maximum the minimum term, not the maximum. The minimum term. Okay, let's try to solve this. They're asking us um, which term is the minimum. To answer the question. Basically, what they're asking us here is to get the position of the minimum term. That is uh, how how we get the position of the minimum term. It's as shown by this. So to get the minimum term, we're just going to use the, the equation. That's how we get the position of the minimum term. Minus b over 2a. We know that in our given equation, 
our b it's actually negative 10 use brackets to get the right answers and our a is just one so negative 10 times negative 1 just positive 10 then now we have our n being equals to 5 so that gives us the position of the minimum term to answer the question fully that means term number 5 is uh, term number 5 equals to the minimum uh, let me write, uh, write properly term number 5 equals the minimum term so if they ask you which term is the minimum term you will tell them that term number 5 is actually the minimum term you have, you are, you are directing uh, whoever is asking the question to the term which is the minimum term that means you have answered the question I hope that's clear enough and then um, secondly we are being asked to determine that minimum term we are being asked which term is the minimum term now we're being asked to get the value of the minimum term to get the value of the minimum term we are going to use the general formula which is given as n squared minus 10 n minus 30 because that's what gives us the value of each term so minimum term is term number five so the value of that minimum term it's um five squared minus 10 we just substitute uh, five in the place of n then now what is the answer uh, the answer is actually negative 55 that's our term number five therefore to respond we say uh, minimum term equals to negative 55 but mathematically even if you were to leave it here it should still be fine because we're not really trying to do english so you could leave the answers exactly there and then it should still be fine but writing it like that shows that you actually understand what you were calculating you're not just doing the calculations let's move on to another example uh, b you are given tn uh, before we move on actually i just wanted to state something they asked you to determine the minimum term because the a is actually positive here it's positive one that's why you are being asked to calculate the minimum term if it's positive Remember, if it's positive, it's facing up, then that term is the minimum. If your A was negative, you'll have it like that, then this term becomes your maximum, like that. So, depending on the value of A, they'll either ask you to get the minimum or the maximum. Okay, let's continue to that other example. Um, I wanted to write it in full. Given Tn equals to negative 3n squared plus 48n minus 2. Uh, they still ask similar questions uh, which term is the maximum term determine the maximum term okay so for the same explanation or from the same explanation that we know that to get the position of the maximum term this equation works whether you are getting the position of the maximum term or the minimum term because the whole point is to get the position of the turning point so the turning point is either maximum or minimum it's maximum or minimum depending on the value of a if it's positive or negative so in this question our b is 48 our a is negative 3 that's why because it's negative it's facing uh down that point it's going to be our maximum point so negative 48 uh, we're going to have something like that negative 6 and then now what would be our answer our answer is 8 that means our n is 8 so term number 8 it's actually the the maximum term maximum just get the spelling right i keep just writing things because i'm in a hurry try to make, not make the video too long okay and then uh now being asked to get the the term or the maximum term we're just gonna use the equation like we did previously that's 48 n minus 2 so we have minus 3 which is term number 8 that means we have 8 squared plus 48 times 8 minus 2 the answer is 190 that's term number eight therefore um okay therefore what do we say 190 is the 
maximum temp but you don't need to write this you can just stop here so let's move on and stop doing unnecessary things okay um suppose you are given this that's another example tn equals to 5n squared minus 50n plus 1 right and then here you're, you're only been asked this question does the sequence have a maximum or minimum term and why so it has what it has because we look at the a to see if it's positive or negative then we can conclude the a is positive if it's positive it means the whole graph if we were to plot it is going to face up then we have what the minimum term there so it has a minimum minimum term reason the a is greater than a zero it's positive the a c i mean d the last term that's basically it there is nothing much to say about that question uh, suppose you're given tn equals to negative 7n squared plus 84n and you are still being asked a similar question uh, so i'm just gonna do this and see if maybe my technology can help me it does actually help me so that i don't have to write it again so yeah you are being asked again does this thing uh, have a a maximum does a sequence have a maximum or minimum term and then why again so because the a is negative it has a if it's negative we know it's gonna face down it is then we have a maximum point because a is less than zero always try to have a sketch in your mind so that you don't mix the two things negative for, for a being negative you know for sure you have a maximum how you know is that uh, look from here that's the highest you can go with the graph that's why we call it the maximum point the rest they go down so they are lower than that one okay that will be it with maximum and minimum you will see uh, the part of convergence on the next video that i'll be posting thank you